I'm Jim, the father of uh, lovely bride Madison. 26 years ago, we brought this. <laughs> 20 years ago, we brought this this precious newborn home with uh, not a lot of direction or insight. And now she's sitting here with her new husband as a beautiful, confident woman with a new beginning before her. I'm Madison's maid of honor and best friend. Um, so I've known Madison for over 14 years now. So I could stand up here and share so many stories with you. However, most of those stories should never be told. <laughs> but what I can tell you is that I truly believe that we are meant to be best friends. For example, we went to the same college twice. We went to Bloomsburg and then Chippensburg. And now we live in the same neighborhood, just one street over from one another. Hello everybody, I'm uh, Mike Casper, I'm uh, Scott's brother. I've known him practically my entire life. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, Madison has dreamed of this day, and I've always dreamed that she would find someone who appreciated her and would accept our crazy friendship. And in the summer of 2013, that happened. She tells me she thinks she may have just met the one. He loves kids, everything she's looking for in a husband. But when I really knew was when he said those three special words. When he said, I love Disney, I knew we would be here today. Some or all of you may know this, but one of the things that Scott and Madison had first bonded over was, of course, Disney. I thought it would be appropriate to analyze their uh, relationship to a Disney couple. Like Belle, Madison is nice, sympathetic, intelligent, has a love for books, and also has a love for all animals. And then there's Scott. Well, let's just say, who could love a beast? <laughs> but all kidding aside, Scott possesses many of the traits of the beast. While he is a little bit stubborn at times, he is also strong, kind, and has a huge heart. Dearly beloved, you have come together here before a minister of the church and in the presence of the community. I ask you to state your intention. I, Scott, take you, Madison. I, Madison, take you, Scott. To be my wife. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. God and Madison, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Madison received this ring. Scott received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. Where God joins together, let no one put asunder.
being said, I just want to say I love you guys, and I'm so happy for you. And will everyone please raise their glass and toast to Madison finding her own Prince Charming, and may they live happily ever after. Madison and Scott, I wish you all nothing but happiness in this whole new world that you guys are going to share. So throughout all those moments, hours, days, and years, the one emotion that stands out is pride. We couldn't be prouder of the daughter that's before us today, and we're proud to officially welcome Scott to the family. And I can't wait to see what their uh, future holds. I am humbled, honored, and thrilled to introduce, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Scott Casper. <laughs>